Blacks represent all my island people say We people celebrating early from my homeland Like my old man say There's nothing impossible So we have to bring this message to my brother Lyrical straight from the crew Out to the blue We represent the voices of my ancestors calling And I was getting more said my culture is falling Now we have a step up for the past when it's calling Once the world is stopping Nobody gonna stop us People, everybody, would you listen to us for a start? No boy complaining And as we partaking We represent the cause Previously on Delos. The crew invades Russia Ampat Dive Lodge, gets the guests and staff drunk on Delos moonshine, and does some more awesome diving. It was time to say goodbye to the dive lodge, so we untied the mooring lines and pointed the bow west. After just a few moments underway, we ran into some serious trouble with the main diesel and had some currents pushing us dangerously close to the reefs. Oh man, so the engine just overheated. We must have a coolant leak. I filled it up on the way here, but it must have just leaked out while we were at the, at the resort. And unfortunately there is about one knot of wind, so we can't really sail and there's a lot of current so when the engine quit we were getting pushed towards one of these reefs you can see we're kind of just in amongst all these reefs right here and we were getting pushed into this shallow spot a little bit uncomfortably and we can't really run the main because it's real hot so we ended up tying the dinghy off to the side so we could just kind of make at least a knot or two and uh, get us away from the shallow water until we can get the main sorted out. Maggie, go, Maggie, go, go Maggie. Maggie. Come on, Maggie. Trying to avoid that reef over there. Sketchy. What's up, man? Ah, uh, when the engine overheated, it f***ed our oil. And when we got the engine cooled off and filled her back up with coolant, we started getting a oil alarm, which we've never had before. So shut it down, did an emergency oil change. I think the heat probably f***ed the viscosity of the oil, so we had low oil pressure or something, but uh, oil change at sea, and we just started it up, and so far no alarm. So hopefully this is all we need to do. Good thing we have a dinghy with 25 feet. Yeah, good thing Maggie can pull a 20 ton boat. That's amazing. It was way too deep to anchor, so I don't know what we would have done without Maggie. But we moved Delos just enough to get out of danger. Fortunately, the wind picked up and we had an amazing sail to the Fam Islands. Approaching Fam, we spotted a beautiful white beach and decided that this was definitely the place to set the hook for a few days. We were all more than ready to relax after our eventful visit at the dive lodge. Beach. Yeah, we had a really sweet sail here. It's like 15 miles or something. So. Just sailing along the water was, yeah, it's really hard to describe the feeling. It's beautiful. Really, really cool. Even though I felt a little bit slightly seasick <laughs> or wheezy, it was really good. 
we are about to have a little barbecue on the beach with a fire going. I'm gonna grill it with chicken. With some couscous. Couscous! And we're drinking box wine. And it's fantastic! What's our box for right now? It's Hey, Brady! Get that in the sauce. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. We spent a few amazing days at this beach, barbecuing, swimming, and watching the magical sunset. But we were ready for some more diving and had heard about a great dive spot on Penemu, which happened to be the next island over. So we're just leaving Pham Island. We had a really beautiful couple of days there. And now we are off to Pinemu, which is six or so miles just north of Pham Island. And hopefully there's a little lagoon up there that we can bring gallows into, but we're not sure. We've heard that you can or we've heard that you can't, so we're gonna go check it out for ourselves. Yeah. With the engine still acting up, we were sailing as much as possible, even off the anchor in the light winds. After a few hours sailing, we arrived at Penemu Island and spotted something we hadn't seen in months. Another boat. Strange. And it wasn't a local boat either, but a massive power yacht. This was a very exciting turn of events. We spent the evening bottling beer and taste testing, just in case our new neighbors liked homebrew. Look at that bottle! Get all the sugar out of the bottom there. Why? Because it carbonates it. And you're picking your undies out of your bottle. Because it carbonates it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> That's sanitary. <laughs> Oh, nice hair sprawl! Dude, what are you doing? Hey! There it is, get it. Diving in Raja Ampat Coral Epicenter Zone. Gotta go to the bullseye. The bullseye! Let's the coral, go! The Coral Triangle! Are you ready for it? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah! Morning, she doesn't it's time to go diving! Ooh. Are you ready? Time to go diving. 
Raja Ampat Divers, are you ready? Yes. Let's put some sample on my nose. We loaded up Maggie and made a pit stop at our new neighbors to say hello. It turns out that these guys are leading a marine conservation program in this area and were totally cool. Without them, the coral triangle would be overfished in no time. Dynamite, cyanide and nets would immediately destroy the underwater sites that exist here today. They told us all about the best dives in the area and gave us the coordinates for a secret entrance into a small lagoon that led up to the lookout tower. Sweet! We were really keen to get underwater and see this for ourselves. So we anchored Maggie on a small sandy spot and plunged in. The water was crystal clear and teeming with fish. Oh man, that was a really good dive. Yeah, yeah, woo! Cool. Now we're in this beautiful lagoon. We're about to go walk up to the top and check out the lookout point that Sea Sanctuaries has built. Let's go! to the top. It's a pretty epic view. Smack bang in the middle of everything. The center of the bullseye of the bullseye of the bullseye of the coral triangle. So everything that's going on uh, with species of coral and fish is like centered right here. And really important that this outpost is being built. Uh, kind of a massive light up here and they're going to watch out for illegal fishermen coming in from other countries that are dynamiting and net fishing and just killing the reef. But uh, it's a really superb view and really cool. Exciting. Yeah, it's pretty We were absolutely blown away by the scenery, both above and below water. 
It's amazing to know that conservation programs are here doing everything they can to protect this part of the world. Apart from sharing their golden dive spots and hidden base with us, Steve, Simon, Steph and Dr. Matt also invited us over to Hang Toa that night for some drinks. Which we felt very excited and slightly nervous about. We hadn't socialized with others in quite some time now. So we met some new friends today on a nearby research vessel. They just took us on a sweet dive, or showed us where to dive at least. And in true cruiser fashion, we baked some chocolate cake. Ah. <laughs> chocolate cake to take them, and we're gonna take over some homebrew, homebrew moonshine. some bourbon, some scotch, and some homemade beer. Mm. See how that goes. Yeah, we don't really know how to interact, interact with other people, so it's gonna it's be really interesting. awkward. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out these guys were totally cool, and we shared a lot of common interests. We got into the homebrew and made plans for a little hike the next morning. Hey! Good morning, brother. Oh, good morning. I'm just loading up on water because I've got a headache. Why do you have a headache, brother? I don't know, man. Drinking too many whiskeys last night. I think I'm about to get my period. Did you have fun last night? Yeah, it was really cool. Really cool hanging out with some people, some fellow friends. White fellas. White fellas, them white fellas over there in the big boot. Now I'm pumped. Are you guys pumped to go on a walk? Oh yeah. yeah. I'm pretty stoked it was only 10 minutes rather than two hours. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pleasant surprise. just north of Pham Island, Rajampat. What a beautiful bay. I think it's called Hidden Bay or Secret Bay. The view from up here was spectacular, but it was crazy hot. So we didn't stay too long before retreating to the water. This was our last anchorage in Russia Ampat, and definitely a favorite of mine. We experienced some outstanding diving, clear blue water, incredible scenery, and met some awesome new friends. But our visas were running out, so it was time to move on. Back on Delos, we began the mission to take up our 30 meters of road plus 70 meters of chain we had put out. With the anchor finally out of the water, we set sail for Ternate, our last stop in Indonesia. Up next, the crew leaves Russia Ampat and set sail for the islands of Ternate. We have an equator crossing ceremony and go for a naked swim in the deep blue. Uh, 
Better be whatever it be Everything will be alright You have certainty within you Close your eyes and look inside Wow, what an amazing dive that was. <laughs> so we just got done with a beautiful dive on what we named Bullseye Ridge, just on the east, eastern side of Batu Rufus Island. We came into the lagoon, and we're gonna go check out the lookout that Sea Sanctuaries has set up to protect the area. They're gonna get the locals involved and do patrols, spot out big dynamite ships and netting fish. Let's go. And knitting fish. <laughs> Dynamite ships. <laughs>